let's solve this trigonometric equation. We can start by subtracting secant x from both sides. 2 secant x minus secant x is just secant x. Secant x minus secant x is 0. Now let's subtract 1 from both sides. So now what we can do is, to solve for x, we can take the inverse secant of both sides of this equation. Inverse secant of secant x is just x. And on the right side, we have inverse secant of 2. Now, inverse secant is a function with one output. However, in a similar way to how if we solve an equation with, say, a square root by introducing a square root into the equation, then we have to think about the bigger picture in the sense that here we have to ask the question, what are all of the possible angles that when you take their secant, you get to? Because all of those angles, when you plug them into the original equation, they're going to be solutions to this equation. And that's what we're trying to find. All of the values of x, the angles in this case, when you plug them in here, they solve the equation. So normally we would use our calculator to evaluate inverse secant of x, but in this case, with 2, we can use the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So in that case, secant of 60 is 2 over 1, or 2. So one of the solutions is 60 degrees. But we know that there's going to be two angles between 0 and 360 whose secant is equal to 2. So secant is going to be positive in the first and fourth quadrants because the adjacent is positive in the first and fourth quadrants. So what angle in the fourth quadrant has reference angle 60 degrees? Well, that's going to be 300 degrees. So the solutions to this equation are 60 degrees, 300 degrees, and any angle coterminal with either of these two. So plus 360 times n, where n is any integer. These are the solutions.